Hello guys, and welcome to a game spotlight on a relatively new game called Hand of Fate. So, this game is developed by the Defiant Corporation, I believe, and it was actually developed in Unity, which I thought was pretty cool. And it's a game which has a few different elements to it, so it has a bit of a combat element, but it's mainly based on luck, fortune, and cards, and the way you can manipulate your equipment to try and beat the game. So definitely I recommend you guys go and check it out. It's about £20 on Steam, UK prices. I think about $22 US. So yeah, well, enough talking. Let's get straight into this pretty awesome game. The stakes are raised. The challenges begin. So, when you're first greeted, you'll be greeted with an endless mode and a story mode. When you first get the game, endless mode will be locked, and you'll only have access to story mode. And I've got somewhat far into the game, and these are challenges. So, for example, the Jack of Dust. So, these are bosses at the, that you'll find at the end of every level in the story mode, that you will have to fight and defeat. And I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure a demonstration in endless mode as opposed to story mode. And I'll go and show you the deck building aspect. So the deck building aspect is when you first um, go in it, it'll say, "Would you like to use recommended equipment and encounter deck?" So then it will do that. And what you can do is, if you don't want that, you can click on these cards, and these are all the cards you have available to you. And in the actual game, uh, you basically start off with the basics, and then you work your way up and get things like the huge hammer, the frost fang, the better shield, the armor of the cold, and you get a bunch of these as you progress in the game. And these are the ones that you have in your deck, these are the ones that are available to you. And the recommended build the early game, if you're not too good at deck building, which I'm not the best, you're probably just going to want to um, stick with the recommended build. So what I'm going to do now is enter endless mode. So I can see he's dealing out some cards into the deck. These are bad cards. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? Yeah, as you can see, this isn't what well, I should be here in story mode, but in endless mode it will tell you the level you are in the dungeon. And in story mode, there's more and more levels to the dip to the, um, the more difficult opponent you're facing. So, for example, Jack of Dust is only one level to get through, and um, there's that Plague one as well, which is like three different levels you've got to go through. So it, de so it definitely gets harder as you go along. So this is your guy, this little golden guy. I'm going to click on here, and we we've just got a card, and we've got the Traveling Mage. Now, we don't have any food or gold. And these are shops which you can go to. Now, I'm actually just going to pass it by because I've no need to go to a shop at the minute. And now I've got a river. And this is where the chance aspect comes in. So if I click attempt to cross the river, there's a huge success, a failure, and two regular successes. Choose from these options. So I can see if I say pick the first one, which was just regular success, I can see I've crossed the river easily and unharmed. Now, to get to the next level of the dungeon, it's either, it's either going to be this card or this card, and I'm going to chance it and go this way. Well, see, so here we go, now I've got a danger. This is where the um, PV, well, not PvP, but the, um, the fighting aspect comes in. So now he's just drew a card, and I'll fight two of plague. Now, these guys, I don't believe, are too difficult to attack. So you can see I'm now going to spawn in here. And now I have to fight these plague. Which plague, they're not too difficult to fight. But yeah. So you, you probably saw those green and red spikes above their head. Green spikes mean you can press Q to do a counter attack. And red means they're doing a power attack. So you'll probably want to press space to do a barrel roll to get out of their way as a regular counter attack will not be able to counter their attack. So we're going to now I'm going to go into the next one and this is Mr. Lionel. 
and this is a goblin guy which you can speak to and I can't really give him I don't really want to give him food so I'm going to ask him what he needs so the goblin immediately begins to wander around to your person probing and poking at your weapons and apparel before making a sudden grab at something he then sits considering for a while before slapping the table with his hand aha I know what you need Mr. Lionel taps the table with his staff and some plump cake appears in front of you. Remember, boy, when someone asks what, whether you'd like a cake or a pie, tell them you want a cake and pie. The dealer draws you one food game card. So, that was a pretty beneficial one. There you go, we've got three food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Now, I've hit the end of this path, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, and I've already fought those, um, Ratman, so I don't really need to fight them again. But I'm up this river again, which I will have to cross again. So if I attempt to cross it again, um, at, thi at this point I've still got huge success and regular success. I believe that if I get um, huge success, uh, which I've just got now actually, like you can't go it again. So I can see I've just got some shiny stones at the riverbed, and there you go, got some coins. So you obviously can't do that again, you can only do that once, so if I repass it again, I won't get another huge success. Oh, more goblins. So I can see now he's drawn a card, and I've got three goblins to fight. So definitely this is a pretty solid game, guys. I definitely recommend you guys, you know, go ahead and, and check it out. Because me, I definitely am I'm having some fun with this game. I am not going to lie to you guys. And I will be right back to show you something more interesting. Okay guys, so I thought I would show you the, this goblin attacking me. So we can see that there, is, there are traps here with some arrows shooting at me. But goblins, basically you attack them and the money will fall out of their bag. And um, yeah, be careful of these, because they do like to lay traps for you, and it's a bit of a pain. Oh, I've just got attacked again. So you have killed that goblin, which had my money. And the goblins you will want to attack in time, because if you don't attack them in the time limit, they will like, a, a vortex will get summoned, and then they will just disappear with your money. And that's kind of a pain. I thought I killed all of you. Oh no, this one goblin. So like, we just blew that horn and I can see he's a portal opening and he was trying to escape. But we got him before he did. So we're going to get some food and we're also going to get some gold for completing that quest. Pretty cool, right? And in the story mode, you will get to a point where, say, if I was on level 1, instead of that being escape, that would probably be the Jack of Dust. And see what lies beyond. So I'll take the forest path. Because I'm in endless mode, I've got a dealer's spite, so now he's added, I can see some more um, enemy cards. So I've attained it. The player cannot sell anything. That's kind of a pain. So I can see now if I need to go that way or that way. And now well, you know, I'm going to go this way just for fun. About oh, I probably shouldn't have gone that way. I've got some more Let's Ratman hunting. And now he's, because I'm at a higher level, he's drawn two cards instead of one. So now he's drawn to a plague. And let's go attack these plague. So when you start off with this just rusty old axe at the start of the game. And at later on you'll get things that have like a mace and you'll get a few other things that'll help you along your way. Yeah definitely the plague are not fun to fight. They are they like throw spears at you and they just have a pretty horrible attack. But I can see they're all dead. I'm at 60% health. I wonder how long this tainted buff will last. So they have got one food gain card and that happens to be five food. I don't know if probably when I'm moving I use one food and I gain some more health back. So what I can do is I can really just hop back and forth between there, and I'm gaining health, I'm also losing food in the process. If you have no food, you will lose 5 health when you move, as opposed to gaining 5 health when you have food. 
Well, I've not seen this kind of fort. Battle of Brooktop. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. Two of dust. I can either attack them or I can flee. But these guys seem just just the most basic enemy. So I'm not gonna skip on them, because they're pretty easy. And also guys, if you're wondering, I don't believe the actual system requirement for this game is pretty high, as my computer really isn't the best, and it handles this game pretty well, if you ask me anyway. So it looks like he's gone down. And now I've got two game cards, and you're probably wondering, what's this weird um, then I work thing to here? It. And this thing is a token that uh, he will give you the if you complete the task, which I did. So he's given me the token, and at the end of the game you can unlock those tokens and they'll give you different cards. So there's a shop here, there's nothing I really want to buy, seeing that I'm just going to pass it by. And now there's a, there's a Culling the Ratman, Remember. and now this guy's going to ask for 50 gold I believe, not but I'm not to refuse because I don't have it. Well, he does give me one of those tokens if I did, co did complete the task. And I've got the Maiden. Now, this is a pretty good card to get, as you either get to choose whether you want a longer life, supplies, ask to be blessed, or ask for gold. And I think I'm going to ask for gold. So she seems surprised, is unlike an adventure to beg for coin, but very well if that is your wish. 30 gold, Ooh, that's a good one. So now if I wanted, I could go back to this guy. We play for a token now. And now I can pay the Duke. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against the filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. So there you go, now I've got a rat cleaver. Rats have so few is, friends. I believe this is mankind. better than my Yet rusty the two old have axe. lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. I believe going back on here they won't um, give me the maiden again. So here you go, the only stairs. Free food. You'd better hope take to the finish stairs. this quickly, or hunger will finish it for you. Yeah, he does have a pretty good point there. I'm pretty low on food. Yes, this is the general idea of the game, guys. The deeper you go, the harder things become. So this is another card which I wanted to show you, which is the Devil's Choice. Now this guy will offer you um, two, like usually three cards which you can pick, and a lot of the time he will allow you to keep that choice and say you're no mighty hero. I'll let you live with your choice. But sometimes they'll say you need a challenge or something. Uh, I'm gonna give you. I won't give you your choice. I'll give you the harder choice or something. Yeah, and also when you're in, you're in combat, a lot of them will fall on the ground, but they won't necessarily die. So make sure they are dead before you um, leave them. So just bear that in mu in mind. So I defeated those, now I've got three game cards. Select one to keep, either the Ring of Survival or the Frost Fang. I'll keep the Ring of Survival. I've also got a health potion for 15 health and good fortune. But yeah, this game is very luck based, as you'll find a lot a of um to heat and purify the flawed metal. You'll find a lot of bad things in, you, in this in game. This case. Like sometimes you'll go and only survive to level three, and sometimes you'll be able to go and survive to level eight or something. So now in the crucible, you'll fight a monster for the entertainment of the townspeople. What will you do? I will enter the crucible. You will enter the first arena. Choose your first opponent wisely. I'm gonna pick the two of skulls. Oh, and it, well, they're the same card, so I might as well just click on that. The Two of Skulls and the Four of Plague. I've got full health. 
I may have no food, but I've got full health, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, definitely, guys, if you're gonna ask me if, if, if it's worth buying this game, definitely I would say yes. Although the storyline isn't too long, definitely the endless mode really does give you a pretty good experience with um, learning the game. So if, if you're in story mode and you find yourself a little bit stuck, definitely try the endless mode as it definitely is a way to practice the game. So now it looks like I'm attacking three of dust and four of dust. Hopefully I won't die. That's just aren't too difficult. You also with these ranged attacks, like I can see these dusts are um, like shooting things at me. You really can't counter those attacks, so you're probably gonna want to press space and do a roll. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's Q to do a counter attack and it's space to do a roll to get out of their way. If you are uncomfortable with those controls, they do provide a key binding for you. So you can change them any time of the game, which is pretty cool. So I can see this guy's died. And hopefully that is the last person I have to fight. I've never been in the Crucible before. The dealer George, you one monster card and Oh wow. Two skulls and four of dust. I was kinda hoping they wouldn't be anymore. But it looks like I've got to fight just a few more guys and hopefully I can leave this horrible place before I die. I don't really don't want to die. So it looks like the skulls are down. All I need to do now is attack the dust. Although I do only have 15 health, so I'm uh, not doing the best here. You see what I mean, how it's all luck based? How I've now lost all my health in a very short space of time so that's those down but yeah definitely if I have to fight any more people I am not gonna be able to survive the dealer draws you four gold game cards I probably could have done with food to be honest I'm sure you're grateful for that because I'm really not doing too good but I do have one of those tokens which is pretty cool so I'll be right back, guys, when there's another thing to show. Look hopeless. Well, um, wow. So the next card I get is a Winding Trail. And this is where you have to fight more monsters, and you can, set, and you can either choose to attack them for the threat, or give them all your gold. Now, I've got a lot of gold, so I think what I'm going to do is attack them. So I've got three of dust and two of scales. And scales appear to be a weird dinosaur looking creature. Be careful on the leaves as there are traps laid out. And they can sneak up uh, and get you by surprise, so definitely be careful of those. Looks like I'm pretty low on health now, I'm probably going to die. Probably should have given them all my gold. And I'm dead. And to be honest, I didn't do too good that game. But yeah, definitely this is a really cool game, guys. I definitely your see a lot of potential in this game. I definitely recommend them. it. And now you're there dead. are obviously a few concepts ah, in the game which I've not been able to it talk takes about. Us all in time. Not but if you wish to learn more, game, I will you. leave a link in the description to the steam post for this game so you guys can go and check it out maybe buy it if you want um, and do, do whatever you want on the post maybe learn, learn more about the game but yeah so thank you for watching this game spotlight guys on hand of fate it definitely is a really cool game so um, thank you for watching
remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this. Um, just post a comment down below if you uh, want to, you know, just say that you want to see more videos like this because we really haven't done many game spotlights on this channel, if any. So thank you for watching guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye from Pizza Plum.